do you need some movement here it's surprising the engines that i take apart that there's no movement here this this adjustment is adjusted to the point where the governor don't move these are hit and miss engines this flies out when that flies out this roller here and you will find in these governor arms this adjustment is just a two piece uh, that the center part and then the outside and it does have two little adjusting ears that fits in that slot this this arm this arm here is I like these it has a brass bushing impressed in this uh, casting of a, it's aluminum or pop metal die cast all, all of these this pivot and and these are available if you have one that needs it you know go ahead and 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 make yourself one or either order one this is quite important the size is very very important if you make one of these it needs to be of the correct size just the dimensions if you have one of these that's wore out of round then your engine when and this does need to rotate that's not a fixed position if it's fixed it'll work and some of these here do get binded up and they were on there at different places different amount and then they free theirself up or either you free them up with some oil and a, and a, and a spray and then when it does start turning and engines running when this flat place gets around there as according to how much that wire is if that gets around here or here 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 so you do need a good round movable contact that's the that's the uh, die cast model there uh, this one right here does have a slot it's it's pretty uniform so I would say that's machine made for oil to migrate through there this one does not have you some some examples and this is the little pivot that's the little roll that's the, the you see how bad that one rusted away the the roll was completely gone but this little thing goes in that hole right there the r little roller would be on it That's, this is a good, really good candidate for repair here. The here is one that someone now this this I bought this engine it was a running engine, but you see that don't that don't pivot, and what it is is a piece of rubber. Looks like fuel line, and it's too big. It's way too big. Uh, you would have to really move your points in order to get this engine to run, which was the case. It was a running engine, but it's quite a bit larger than, I mean, you, you can see it visually there. But anyways, it was, the engine was running with this on there, but it's a bad deal. Don't, use, don't be doing that. This one, this is a factory one here that through the years has, it's, I don't know what happened to that. There's some kind of brake light fiber material, but they break in rings most of the time. And then this one probably rust. It, it, it probably rusted on the inside at some point in time and swelled out. And it broke, and then the rust got freed away, so it left it too big. But this right here, uh, this would not be a good governor to put in an engine because it's subject to break at any minute just fooling with it here it'll likely break that one this one and i have several examples and and i do feel like this one's rusted fast and i do feel like that's what caused that to break so that's that's not a good that's not a good uh, uh, this one see the pivot pins rusted away you, you, and this one the same thing again is uh, it's broken rings and then it's broke long ways too. So if you've got an engine that's got one of these in there, you're not going to have much success with a good running engine with this kind of thing because there's just too much play there. It just this one, you see half of it's gone and it's another example where it r rust expanded and it broke and then half of it's gone. You, what I'm saying, what the point I'm making is, 
if you have one in your engine it looks like that right there uh, then all of this other stuff here is not going to improve that the, this this whole ignition system works as a whole not one individual part you do need a good governor return spring of the correct tension and length though you do need that to leave you in mind with uh, do not you do not right here is like four four examples and I do have some more I just the, the, just absolutely no I don't use these things if you have a point timing tool uh, you use it for show and tell as what I'm doing here this one right here is made out of a credit card as a matter of fact and you put it on yonder and it's supposed to line your points up which it does it, it actually works this is just another version of that uh, these were for sale at some point in time the this one right here I leave a comment if you're familiar with this point this one right here actually works good if everything on your engine is factory specs then then you can you can if if everything's on factory spec then you can throw a, a fixed point plate timing you can throw that on your back and plate adjust it and good to go but very few engines are the specifications uh, even to the RPM if you own an engine and you don't know what your RPM is then you don't know how far to set your timing in degrees uh, there is a correct position you have there's things you have to know about timing in order to have success when you make adjustments on it